Hey, you got to train like an animal to be an animal. But do you have to take animal products? That's what the discussion is going to be about today. B complex and why I use animal B12. Let's discuss it. Okay, so today I decided to do something a little bit different. Since B complex is actually eight vitamins altogether, B1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 12. That's eight things. I decided to break them down so you guys can understand how each one of them work inside of your body and why you need all of them to be optimal. First one, thiamine. Where you guys think that one goes? Right to your thighs. You see how they set it up? Thiamine is for your thighs. Um, you could get this in food, whole grain, meat, fish. Chances are if you're a vegetarian, you're not getting enough. The daily intake for a man is right around 1.2, and the daily intake for a woman is 1.1 to about 1.4 if she is pregnant. Now these doses is only by mouth. You could get a lot more, that's why a lot of people go and get vitamin B injections because you could get a lot more to optimize your body because you can, there's only so much your liver will process of vitamin B. So first one, thiamine is for your thighs. Robifin is for, where it goes, your ribs. Niacin is for your neck. See how simple that is? Okay, vitamin B2, that's for your rib area, rubber flavin. The optimal dose is the same if taken by mouth, 1.3 for men and woman, 1.1 if she's not pregnant to 1.4 if she is pregnant. So you could get this, oh, one thing, let me just say this. The number one way you could tell if you're low on vitamin B2, your eyes start burning for no damn reason, fatigue eyes, your whole body fatigue, that's another symptoms slow growth you're in the gym and you're training but you still can't grow for shit digestive problems always have to run through the bathroom and number one sensitive to light so it's not only eye fatigue your eyes is also sensitive to light b3 so if you don't have enough b3 in your system you could end up with a stage called pellagra and you could end up having der dermatitis um dementia is a whole bunch of symptoms that come along with pellagra so let's jump right into the next one pantotheric acid so this one here believe it or not is for your pants sounds simple enough see these things are um, a lot of people make it think like it's really complicated but this is for your pants area so just your pants area the next one is pyroxidine that's for your whole system your gut your your heart all of that stuff and biotin, everybody know. Let me just draw a line. Let me not go too far. And biotin, everybody know. Biotin, that is for your hair, whether it's body hair or whatever it's for. That's where the biotin go. So I know this kind of look a mess, but you can see how each one of them actually break down your body. You got your neck, you know, your ribs, your thighs, your heart area, your lungs, all of that stuff. It come into play. Now, the tricky thing is, um, I, I will come back to this in a minute and explain how each one of them work. Uh, but the tricky thing is, um, B, B9 and B12, <laughs> you don't see it end up in this list because that's a part of your DNA system. That's what you got to get from the outside. So it's not going to show up on this scale because this represents your whole DNA panel. Let me just draw it right here. This represents your whole entire DNA panel. So there's no easy fix to that. You have to make sure you get enough from your food. Okay, let's start pentacetic acid. That is for, no, let me just say this. If, you're, if you don't have enough fatigue, insomnia, depression, and burning feet. That's why the whole thing covers from your feet up. They made this thing really simple. Paradoxity is 
for your whole system right here. What does this look like? Anyone tell me? Well, it's a damn video, so nobody gonna be able to tell me, but this is for your immune system. Part of your immune system is not just vitamin D and vitamin C. This is also a part of your immune system. Um, biotin, I don't think I need to mention that for here, for here but um, red eyes. And if you don't have enough biotin in your system, one thing people don't realize, your genital areas would either have that red look to it or it will be sore. So, and vitamin B9, you need about 400 milligrams to about 600. You know what? I'm gonna put all the list of the milligrams you guys need to know. Um, when you're taking it by mouth, when you're taking an injection, it's a completely different thing. But if you don't have enough, um, this is for your DNA, believe it or not, and your red blood cell count. Um, B12, this is for your nervous system, your memory, and your thinking. So if you have a hard time thinking about something, or that's, that's normally comes natural to you, but you can't remember it. That's where your vitamin B12 is, and that's why a lot of people recommend people take a lot of vitamin B12. All right, now comes to the fun part. Let's go see what I take. Whew, I'm breaking stuff. Okay, let me just start by saying I do take my, let me just get it out first, because I keep this thing, this is my precious, this is my secret. A lot of people are always wondering, Nestle, what's your secret? This is my secret, but before I get to this, let me just explain to you guys. Um, with all the numbers and I explain how much your body actually absorbs through your mouth, these numbers are a lot higher than that, but your body's not going to absorb it. So a lot of times you take in all of these products and your body don't really use it because it doesn't absorb through your liver. So that's why your doctor, will, when you go to, a lot of people go when they get their B12 injections, I do the same thing, but I just do it at home. Um, I will put a link for this in Amazon. Please read the comments. It's the funniest thing ever. I've been using this now for four years. So, but read the comments. You, you, you'll have a, just not gonna say anything else. Read the comments on the link below for this product. I'm gonna list both of these products, but read the comments for this one. You guys gonna have a blast out of it. But yeah, I take it twice a day. I mean, twice a week, I'm sorry. And I only take 50 micrograms, 50 IUs. I'm sorry, I'm saying micrograms. 50 IUs twice a week. So on Sunday and on Thursday, I take this. Because there is no way my body's gonna absorb. You do the, I do the research and if you look it up yourself, or you guys do the research, you'll realize even though these are some very high numbers, your body don't absorb it. So. I result into taking B12. Now you can get the one for humans, whew, if you could find it. You need a prescription for it, that's the problem. But this one and the ones for human is the exact same manufacturer. They make the exact same way, it's the exact same serum. It's just put in a different bottle. And in this country, everybody knows, they take care of animal better than they take care of people. So that's why I go with this product. I will put a link below, but this is the truth. Trust me, you could take this for two years and you just switch to this for two weeks and you will feel the difference. Literally feel the difference. And it's only a small little needle, so you know I'm not really jabbing the hell out of myself. You could put this in your arms, in your legs. It's very simple. It's really a diabetic needle. So this is my go-to. All right, see you guys in the next one.